What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Today I wanna to show you one thing to do before every one of your ab workouts, especially if you're somebody that has a hard time either A, feeling your abs work when you are doing your ab exercises, or B, you tend to feel it more in your low back, and that's because you're relying too much on your hip flexors to do your exercises, and that's something we have to fix right now. And we could do that with reciprocal inhibition. Now this little fancy word is just something that really means if we can activate or contract a muscle that acts on the opposite side of a joint, then the one that we don't want to work, then we can reciprocally inhibit it or at least turn it down a little bit so that the other muscles can do the job. And that's what we're trying to do. If your hip flexors are initiating too much of the movement when you're trying to crunch or do any other ab exercises we'll show here, then what you want to do is try to get them out of the equation so that the abs can do more of the work. And the hamstrings are able to do that because of their function as hip extenders. Okay, what we can do though is also rely on the glutes too because we know that they can also extend the hip. So what you do is you take this foam roller and you put it back here behind your ankles and up against your butt. And you squeeze your glutes together and your hamstrings at the same time. Everything should be kind of being squeezed up and under. And when we do that now, the hip flexors have to sort of shut down a little bit. And when we have that done, now when we initiate an ab contraction, it's happening more from the abs instead of the hip flexors over dominating. So you want to do a levitation crunch. You squeeze here, okay, keep that in place. And we just lift the shoulders up off of the ground. Just like that. And immediately you should feel a much stronger contraction here in your abs because they're being demanded to work harder. Okay, we do 10 reps of that. Then we come across our body, same thing. Squeeze, come up and twist just a little bit. Up and twist a little bit. Here you go, five on each direction. So now you're up to 20 reps. And then finally, we do some kind of a bottom up movement here. So we squeeze with the uh, foam roller back, and then we initiate the lift, just like that. Again, with the hamstrings actively engaged here and the glutes squeezing from underneath, the hip flexors can't contribute as much to these lower ab movements as they tend to. And this is where a lot of the low back pain comes from. So we go 10 reps here. So now, when it carries over to the full ab workout, the one thing I want you to realize is any time you're going to do a lower ab movement where the bottom comes up here, then what you want to do is make sure that the hip flexors are not doing that work. And you can do that by actually limiting the range of motion. A lot of times what people will do is they think that going all the way down is a great idea because you're increasing the weight of the legs, increasing the moment arm, making the exercise more difficult. But what that's promoting is it's making you move your hip flexors to get back up to the point where your pelvis moves, right? I have to go all hip flexor here to be able to get to the point where my pelvis can then lift and go through the movement. What I'm saying is don't go down that low, right? Go down so that the pelvis and legs move together all the time. And when it gets down to the point where the pelvis no longer moves, then you're done with that rep and go back up again here. So I'm never in a position where the pelvis is stable and the legs are moving on it. That would be hip flexor. But if I can get the pelvis and the legs to move together, then I'm doing it right. And you'll be able to do that a lot more uh, likely now because you've allowed the hip flexors to sort of butt out and get out of the equation. I'm gonna give you a bonus here too. What's the one thing you should do after every ab workout? You really need to stretch them, guys. People don't stretch their abs nearly enough. They are muscles, they need to be stretched. Again, if this is gonna be a static stretch, you do it when you're done with your work. Preferably, I like to do this at night, but certainly not before we do our training. But a nice ab stretch is just literally keeping the lower uh, pelvis in the contact with the ground, and then just coming up for a stretch and hanging out here like that. So there you go, guys. One thing to do to start getting those abs to feel more on every ab workout you do by activating them more properly and getting those muscles that we don't want to be contributing out of it. If you're looking for a program that puts the science back in strength, not just on ab training, but in everything we do, head to athlinex.com right now and get our athlinex training program. In the meantime, if you found this video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below. Let me know what you want me to cover here in a future video, and I'll do my best to do that for you in the days and weeks ahead. All right, guys, see you soon.